In this video, we're going to talk about what are the bare minimum uh, pieces of code you're going to need to run a Selenium browser uh, test. So this video is going to be broken down into several parts. Uh, part number one is uh, which modules do you need? Uh, here we have what, six imports. Uh, some are essential. Some are essential for, for doing browser controls, but, but really the basic, most bare minimum is the web driver and service. So from selenium.webdriver.chrome service, import service, same thing for the basic web driver. Uh, these two items are gonna be your bare minimum. These other three, buy, keys, and options, these are just there to do some additional controls. So the bare minimum to run a blank browser is going to be these two, web driver and service. Now, where is service used? Uh, service is a new paradigm you, uh, that replaces the path. So uh, just know that S equals service, and then this is the location of your Chrome driver. If you want more information on installing your Chrome driver, I have a YouTube video on that, and it is linked below. So check out that video if you want to know exactly how to install your Chrome driver and uh, what are the, the nuances of it, you know, uh, matching versions, things like that. Uh, this part here, unnecessary. Uh, this sets your Chrome options if you want it uh, headless or not, and you can ignore that. Um, here, In initializing your Chrome driver. So you're going to use uh, webdriver.chrome and pass in our services, which is the location of our Chrome driver. And then this is optional, uh, setting your Chrome options if you want to head with or not. And then part number three, or, or is that four? I'm not sure. But anyway, this is just uh, initializing the browser. So if we want to go to Google, it's driver.get, and driver is this item we created here, and then the URL. And then this is just for diagnostic. Uh, this is the ID or the class name of, of the search box. This is the click uh, command. And then we're going to send these keys, these type keys, return, pull, pull the, uh, the results, and then print the results. And then this runs that method. So let's run this and see how it goes. Here we go, open Google, input at the text. It pulls this out here, 0.37 seconds, 0.37 seconds, and there you go. That is the absolute most basic Selenium program you can run on Python. Um, and this kind of something just occurred to me that maybe you don't know how to uh, execute these imports. Well, what you do is you go into preferences in PyCharm, you go over to your interpreter, and you add the package. So I've already got this installed. So you just click that, click install package. And, and that'll allow you to use these imports. It's kind of like a brew or NPM or some other package manager that you may be familiar with. It just, PyCharm just handles it all natively in, a, in an environment. So there you go, there you have it. Let's go back, let's review. You've got your basic imports. You set the location of your Chrome driver. You initialize the Chrome driver, and then you use that driver to get a uh, an ob or you know some reference on the internet. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you got anything out of this video, uh, please give it a like. I'm going to put all of this code in the description so that you can easily uh, copy and paste it. Actually, you know, it might be better. I'll, I'll put it in a. Uh, in a link on the web. So you can just grab this code. So thank you very much. Hit the like button and we'll see you next time.